Okay, this is a reading of the Ides of March. Um, it's a day on the Roman calendar that is around March 15th. Today is the 20th. Um, and then we celebrate St. Patrick's Day on March the 17th, at least we did this year. Meanwhile, the Ides of March, I think, is a subject that needed to be revisited. So, um, it was uh, marked by um, several religious observances and became notorious as the day of the assassination of Julius Caesar. The Roman Emperor. The death of Caesar made the Ides of March a turning point in Roman history as one of the events that marked the transition from the historical period known as the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. Hmm. So from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. That transition happened with the assassination or murder of Julius Caesar. Very interesting, very interesting. And that happened on March 15th. Hmm. Now, back in 2011, um, the Ides of March was a movie, and it was a movie that I never even heard of, okay? And maybe I didn't hear about it because it didn't, you know, feature any of the people that I like. <laughs> so, um, directed by George Clooney. Um, screenplay by George Clooney and uh, Grand Heslov. And uh, star Paul Giamonti, George Clooney, Philip Seymour Hoffman, which, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman is the actor who died from, um, what was it? A drug overdose, heroin, heroin overdose. Uh, but this movie was uh, done in March 2011. Uh, uh, not March, but. It was about the Ides of March, and it was released in 2011. So, most people did not like the movie. It was not a hit, and like I said, I didn't even know that it came out, so I definitely did not see it. Um, Ryan Gosling was also in it. Um, Evan Rachel Wood, Marissa Tomei, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Max Mengele, you know, most notably, nobody black <laughs> that I see. Belle Ivory. Um, that's it. Um, the storyline for the Eyes of March. Uh, Stephen Myers is a young idealist who's brilliant at communications. Is second in command of Governor Mike Morris's presidential campaign and is a true believer. In the middle of the Ohio primary, the campaign manager of Morris's oppon opponent asks Myers to meet. He offers him a job. At the same time, Morris's negotiations for the endorsement of the man in third place, a North Carolina senator, hit a snag. A young campaign intern, Molly S Stearns, gets Stevens' romantic attention. Republicans have a trick up their sleeves. Stephen may be too trusting, and Molly has a secret. What's more important, career, victory, or virtue? And that storyline was written by uh, uh, Jay Haley. So... The genre was a drama and uh, you know as movies go um, I would say go and see it you know or rent it or you know whatever you can do uh, the Ides of March to me it's, it's a coming-of-age movie it's a movie where uh, the age of innocence, a person becoming an adult and leaving ideals behind and dealing with reality. 
ha when reality needs to be faced. And politics is a dirty, dirty game. Um, just a heads up, they said that there are continuity problems in the movie. So I guess that says something because when there's continuity um, issues in the movie, to me is really good because that means that everybody from producers to uh, the director and the continuity um, agent are so caught up in the story and the acting that they miss those little details which tells me that that's a good movie you know that's just the way I kind of that's the way I view it so so that that movie like I said Ides of March released 2011 um, here's another gory thing March it's a trippy trippy month okay in the eyes of March, guess how many times Julius Caesar was stabbed? 23 times. 23 times. Now, I can go into, you know, saying, you know, the Roman Empire, blah, 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 bloody, vicious, blah, 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 nothing has changed, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But <clears throat> who was he sell, uh, stabbed by? Uh, commoners, uh, paupers, uh, poor people of the Roman Republic, mm -mm. senators. <laughs> the Roman leader Julius Caesar was stabbed 23 times by a mob of mutinous senators in 44 BC now here's where witchcraft comes in or spiritism or omens <laughs> a soothsayer warned Julius Caesar and the soothsayer said, beware the odds of March. And that's according to uh, Shakespeare. That's according to Shakespeare. There's always someone there with a warning. Someone who can tell you as a leader what you should or should not do. But uh, most leaders, they listen. No, never. <laughs> for to for for them to listen, which means that they would have to concede to the power and knowledge of another. And they won't do this, will they? <laughs> they will not. Uh, they refuse, usually to their own des their own destruction. They shall suffer the consequences of not listening. Yes, yes, they will suffer. <laughs> anyway, beware the eyes of March. The term did not originate. It, it makes Kitten very excited. She's very excited when it's speaker like this. Yes, it's a very exciting year, Kitten. Yes, it's, yes, it's, it's very, very exciting. Uh, very exciting. She says, stop it. <laughs> Get out <on> you. <laughs> okay, so, beware the eyes of March. But the term did not originate with William Shakespeare, the earliest Roman calendar, which consisted of 10 months beginning with March was believed to have been created by King Romulus around 753 BC. At that time, dates were expressed in relation to the lunar phase of the month using three markers. Kal, Nan, Id. The first phase of the moon, the new moon, was denoted by Kal and signified the first day of the month. 
The first quarter moon fell on either the fifth or seventh day of the month and was referred to as Nun. The full moon fell on either the 13th or the 15th day of the month and was referred to as Id or Ides. The Ides of March, March 15, initially marked the first full moon of a new year. During the late Roman Republic, a New Year's festival was held on the Ides of March in which people would gather a mile outside of Rome on the Via Flamin Flaminia by the banks of the Tiber River. Participants celebrated with food, wine, and music and offered sacrifices to the Roman deity Anna Perina for a happy and prosperous new year. Between 222 and 153 BC, the Ides of March also signaled the beginning of the new consular year in which two annually elected consuls took office as leaders of the Republic. In 46 BC, after consulting with the Alex Alexandrian astronomer, uh, Julius Caesar re reformed the Roman calendar by adding 10 days to the 355-day year, instituting January 1st as the first day of the new year beginning in 45 BC and introducing a leap year every four years, which, as you know, we follow to this day. Um, shortly thereafter, he was granted the title Dictator Perpetuus, or Dictator for Life, concerned with Caesar's increasing power and monarchical, monarch, monarchical leanings. Monarch. A group of Roman senators stabbed the ruler to death on March 15, 44 BC, forever linking the eyes of March with the assassination of Julius Caesar. And that is from uh, www.history.com. So, I got to tell you, the reason why I read this is the reason why I don't believe in the so said Illuminati. Um, I don't think that anything like that can last. Um, and this is the reason why. It, historically, in 44 BC, the Illuminati would have been the senators as well as Julius Caesar himself. Um, as those who know, those in the know. And you will see that those in the know turned against their head and stabbed him 23 times. <laughs> and how does a republic go on or uh, a group go on when you cut off the head? They can't, which is why I believe Rome does not exist to this day. Uh, but Maybe Rome was just meant for a time. Maybe the United States is just meant for a time. I don't know. But what I do know is that the thing that powerful people want is more power. They don't play well with others and they don't share. And so with the, um, with the Illuminati, for those who are in the Illuminati, I would say, watch your back, booby. Because you ain't safe. <laughs> By being in the Illuminati, you think getting money and getting this and getting that and that you safe and you ain't safe not by a long shot you are in constant threat of danger and any illuminous those who are in the know think that they know everything they are wrong <laughs> they are wrong did you hear that I said wrong wrong I rolled my R. <laughs> anyway, the Ides of March. The Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. <sighs> anyway, enjoy the rest of the month. Um, the Stations of the Cross are being done now by the Catholic Church. Good Friday is coming up on this Friday. Is considered nice and 14 or in remembrance of the actual Passover that Jesus uh, did um, the Jews will be celebrating Passover and then comes um, 
the resurrection, which was on a Monday, not Sunday, but people will be recognizing Easter Sunday, which is, ah, I say which, <laughs> which is pagan. Uh, it is the god of fertility for, um, for when um, planting and um, for planning is going to begin now today is the first day of spring so planting is going to be happening and you do Easter so that you can have um, all of your seed will sprout sprout so that you can have a great harvest in the fall so that's what Easter is for basically um, it is not Christian it is fully pa a pagan but that is the purpose of it babies and bounty um, to be fruitful that whatever it is that you are planting that you are cultivating that you will reap a rich um, surplus that is what Easter is for amongst the pagans so um, then the next thing more realistically is tax time taxes are due for the month of April for everybody to file so that is on the list How about we learn the history of filing taxes? I know what taxes do. They pay for civil servants. They pay for the politicians. They pay for social services. And they pay for the upkeep, uh, the maintenance, and planning for the infrastructure. So, but we still need private citizens to support. Um, and that's what the problem has been, is that private citizens who are making a large amount of money have not been good stewards of that money. But that has nothing to do with the odds of March. So, I'm done. That's the odds of March, boo-boo. Bye-bye.